everybody, I want to talk today about using the import file from CSV tool in Asana. Whether you are onboarding onto Asana and so you're moving your existing processes from Excel into Asana, which I am so proud of you for doing, or maybe you are using Asana for a while but you have some external documents that are coming to you from consultants or other things like that, whether it's a loan closing checklist or it's an issue report or it's a task list from a consultant, meeting minutes things like this, you're still going to be getting these Excel documents. And if you want to be able to convert that into an Asana project so that you can easily see that task list, triage the tasks, assign them out, delegate them and have better visibility, you want to use the import from CSV to save you a lot of time. So I'm going to show you some important tips and tricks to make sure you use that tool properly so that you'll have less cleanup on the other side. Okay, so I have my Excel file open and I'm just going to go through each column to explain what you need to know before we import this into Asana. There's a little bit of cleanup that you want to make sure you do with the Excel file first. So the first note that I want to make is that your first column needs to be your task name. If your first column is not your task name, go ahead, cut and paste it into the first row. The next is for your sections, you will actually need to have a column for those. So my next column is identifying what sections each of those tasks are in. I have assignee name, then I have assignee email. I also have start date and due date. So if you have a date range for each task, you want to use the columns start date for the start date and due date for your finish date. Another note I want to make about dates is that they do need to be in the US format. So as you can see, it's kind of obvious with this date, this is June 28th, this is July 1st, this is not January 7th. So if some of you are using Asana and you're used to the date format being in the opposite, please note that when you import a file, the dates need to be in the US format. Um, Asana will import tags, so if you wanted to include tags, you could have a column for that. I have a notes file, nothing particular to say there. If you have subtasks in your import, you can import one layer of subtasks. What I mean by that is you can have a parent task with a subtask, but you cannot import a second layer of subtasks. So it's just the first layer that will import. If you want to do that, just make sure you have a column called parent task. And for the parent task, you need to make sure that the way that this is typed into the cell is exactly the same name as the parent task. So the name of the parent task is backsplash tile. So I can see right here, these three are subtasks to that backsplash tile. So if you have any difference in the way this is typed, it's not going to import properly. So just something to keep in mind. Next, if you're importing dependencies, you can have a column titled dependency. And in the same vein, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the dependency is typed the same exact way. So what this is communicating is that flooring, flooring install is blocked by demolition. So this is my blocked by task and it's typed exactly the same way. So just like your subtasks, make sure it's typed identically the same. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. Next, I have some other custom fields, estimated time, client phase, schedule status, schedule category, engage, and priority. So your first row is going to be your column titles. Your first column needs to be your task title. Make sure you watch your dates and make sure you watch the typing of your parent task and dependencies. So once you've done all that cleanup, you can export this. And what I want to say here is that it does need to be a CSV file. It cannot be an Excel file. So I'm going to download as a CSV and I'm going to open up my Asana space and I'm going to add new project. I'm going to select import spreadsheet and I will name it and select the file. So then I will select a CSV file to import. And there's my download that I just had. So then what it's going to do, it's going to take you to this page where you can either just go directly to a project and assume that it did everything correct, or you can click make changes. I always recommend selecting make changes. That way you can see what it is doing and how it's lining up all of your columns. So we have our task name. That's correct. It is pulling these into sections, which is what we want. 
However, assignee name, right off the bat, I can see there's something wrong here. So assignee name, if I click on the drop down, I see that it's turned this into a single select field. This is not actually the assignee in Asana. So if I scroll down, I can look at my other options. I'm gonna look for assignee and I can see it's grayed out. If I hover over that, it gives me the reason why. It says values must be email addresses. So that's not a problem because we actually have that right here. We have assignee email. So if I hit my drop down right here, I'm gonna scroll down and make sure that is my assignee. So that's basically turning this assignee name to be um, an irrelevant column. So I actually wanna ignore this column. So over here, I can see one column is actually already being ignored. I'm gonna click on that. And it is the tags column. The fact that it's not checked off means it's being ignored. That's okay because I didn't have any information in that column. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm finding my assignee name, I'm going to deselect that, and now it has turned into two columns ignored. My start date column is looking good, my due date column is looking good, my notes column, I can double check this. This is, instead of a text field, it is mapping to the task description, which is exactly what I want. I don't want a column with all of those notes, I actually want that note column to become a description inside of my tasks. So know that you can also do that. You can map any of these columns to be part of your task description. My parent task is in here. If I click on that, I can see it is notated as a subtask of, so that's good. And then my dependency column is in here. So right now it's showing as a single select field. So I wanna scroll down and I actually wanna select dependence. So that this is why you go through and you check all of your columns. Next, I have estimated time. We're our client phase. Um, this is a single select field, that's good, I'm okay with that. Single select is good for schedule status, schedule category, engage is my multi-select field, that's great. So anything on my Excel file, if I had words separated by a comma, it's going to read that as a multi-select field. Next I have this priority field, which actually just says hi for everything, which really isn't very helpful, so I'm actually going to ignore that as well. So I'm gonna go back to my columns ignored, deselect priority. Okay, now we're ready to import. So I'm gonna hit continue to project and it's going to take a few minutes to load. Okay, so everything's loaded now. We can see I've got my sections, I've got those tasks, I have my date range populating correctly, I have my subtasks populating correctly, so my backsplash tile, that brought over, awesome. I can also check my dependencies if I click on hide. I can show dependencies and I can see that those populated over correctly as well. So from here, I can continue to edit my project if I need to fill out more of these custom fields, if I wanna add more tasks, if I want to assign everything. And just a quick note on these assignees, I had populated email addresses that were not actually users in this space. So that's why that didn't populate here. So that's just something to make sure when you are pulling in assignees, you need to make sure you use email addresses that are actual users in your Asana space. And so that's all we need to do to import a CSV file into an Asana project. So I hope that was helpful. Just a couple of things to keep in mind before you import a CSV into Asana. Make sure it's not an Excel file, you've done cleanup on that file, and you've made sure you have all those columns in order to populate them correctly, and you hit edit project before you go ahead and create it. If you have any questions or need any additional help, we at iDo are ready to help you. We would love to come alongside you in helping you onboard your systems into Asana so that you can get started strong and make sure you have good adoption and good retention going forward. Best of luck.